In today's video, we are going to talk about the most busiest, the craziest season of the whole year. This is not only for the embroidery business, but this is for all custom decorating businesses in general. And that, of course, is the Christmas holiday season. I would say October, November, December. I would say those three months are non-stop from beginning to end. This year, online sales, it's already set to break all sorts of records. So for everybody that was selling last year, you already know how crazy it was last year. So in today's video, I want to dig deep and give you five important tips when setting up your shop for this massive, crazy, insane holiday season. Okay, let's talk about tip number one, and that is shipping. If you remember shipping from last year, all right, the shipping last year was just a big disaster. It was a, just a big disaster from every angle you can think of. I remember tracking packages and it was literally just stuck days, days, maybe weeks at certain post offices. Sometimes when I was tracking a package, instead of that package moving forward to its destination, it would actually stay there for a couple days and then it would move backwards. It was very stressful, okay? Shipping last year was the most stressful thing out of the whole process. So some things that you have to take into consideration when you're preparing for this holiday season is, first of all, if you are going USPS, United States Postal Service, you have to go priority shipping. That's a must. If you try to go first class shipping, there's a big chance that your product is going to get stuck somewhere, especially for those time sensitive packages. Okay, you definitely want to go priority shipping. That's going to be almost a must. Or maybe you might just have to go UPS or FedEx. Okay, just for a little bit more reassurance. But overall, in general, your packages aren't 100% guaranteed it's going to get there on time. Last year, we shipped something on Black Friday, so the end of November, and it didn't get to our customer till the day before Christmas. It's going to happen all over again. It's already being predicted, all right? It's already being predicted. So one thing you have to let your customers know is as soon as we ship it, it's out of our hands. So make sure your customers know there are certain days where if you order after this day, there's a big possibility you might not get it in time. All right, so make sure you know all the rules. I know USPS, they're gonna raise up their prices just for the holiday season. Okay, so be aware with that. Make sure you adjust your prices accordingly. All right, so big thing we're preparing for this year's holiday season is do your research on shipping. Get familiar with all the rules, all the new rules that's gonna happen because it's gonna be crazy on the shipping side. Okay, tip number two when preparing your shop for this holiday season, and that is product inventory. Okay, for everybody that's been in the trenches this year, you already know all the popular brands, all the popular colors. Product has been at an all-time low, okay? A lot of stuff that we're used to selling, okay, non-existent. A lot of times we have to shuffle and shift brands, okay? Now for the holiday season, it's gonna get worse. So there's still the issues with the shipping containers, okay, not coming in on time. It's gonna be the same thing. So right now, you wanna make sure you make a list of everything you're going to sell and you're going to have to make a big, big, big crucial decision. You gotta know how much product you have to buy, all right? Because if you try to buy product as you're selling it, okay? So let's say somebody buys five shirts and now you wanna buy those five shirts, it's not gonna happen. You have to have product on hand ready to go, okay? Because the possibility of the vendors being sold out on product is very high right now. And not only that, but when they ship it, it's not guaranteed that it's gonna get there very quick. And even with shipping delays, with product coming to your shop, that can extend the turnaround time, all right? So you wanna make sure you already know what you're going to sell, and you have to know how much product you're expected to sell and have it on hand. Now, I said it's a crucial judgment call because you don't wanna buy too little, but you don't wanna buy too much product, okay? So you need to find your sweet spot and nobody knows that sweet spot but you, okay? So make sure you're doing your research. You kinda of have a goal in what you're going to sell. All right, tip number three when setting up your shop for this holiday season. 
That is, make your order process as easy as possible. So usually the most time consuming process of the whole transaction can be going back and forth with your customer, okay? Especially email, all right? Especially uh, basic questions that can easily be answered with a product description. So what you wanna do right now as you're preparing for the holiday season is make sure you review your product listing Try to have every question answered, okay? Think about every possible question that somebody might have, all right? Because the last thing you want is any delay with little simple basic questions. Make sure all the little small questions are answered. And if somebody does ask you a question, make sure, of course, you're gonna answer it, but also gather that information and put it into your product listing because somebody else might have that same question too. So for embroidery, of course, custom letters, and custom designs is always uh, requested. So have your criterias, okay? Have, for example, okay, just random example. Let's say you're doing, uh, let's say you're offering custom names on a hat. You wanna have criterias and information that your, that your customers should give you. For example, of course, the correct spelling, let them know you're just gonna copy and paste what they send you Okay, let them know the maximum letters or the maximum size that you're offering. Okay, as much information that you give your customer, the more information they're gonna provide you what you need. You don't wanna be going back and forth with questions. All right, you want your customer to see everything that's required, have them send that out to you, and you could get the process started. Another thing that's a good idea is have like a family member or a friend review your website, review your Etsy or your Shopify, and let them kind of analyze it and mark down any information or any suggestions that they have, okay? Because sometimes a second eye might find something that you don't find, okay? So make sure you're taking the time to do all that stuff beforehand, just so when these orders start coming in, all right, it's all clockwork. That's where we wanna be at. We wanna be at the level where these orders are coming in clockwork, and the only time we have to stop and analyze the order is if something major happened, okay? But anything basic, okay, that will keep spinning, all right? That's where we want to be at. Okay, tip number four when setting up your shop for this massive holiday season is, okay, I have this one written down, all right? Because this one is very important, okay? Sell products that you've practiced, mastered, and you have great confidence of excellent production okay so what that means is this is not the time to start experimenting for us a lot of that experimentation happens from January to September okay we're trying out new vendors trying out new products new designs new thread once it's game time you want to be in production mode you want as soon as this order comes in you know with great confidence this product is gonna be done efficiently and quickly, okay? Now, let's say you don't have your product yet. Let's say you just started your embroidery business and you haven't had all year for preparation, okay? That's no problem. What you wanna do is take your time, find three items that you're gonna sell, okay? Three items that you're gonna be real good at so when these orders come in, you could kind of come in, do the best production of those three products. Of course, everybody could adapt to their own ability, all right? So that's just a suggestion on my end. Big thing is be confident on whatever you're selling and make sure, okay? Because at this point, time is money. Time is money, time is your reputation, all right? Because if you sit on a project too long, these projects are gonna start stacking up. All right, you want these projects to go out well because we are against time just because the shipping. Shipping is against us, all right? So we wanna get everything shipped out ASAP. Tip number five, when setting up your shop for this massive, crazy holiday shopping season. This is a personal one for me. This is just an advice from me to you, all right? It doesn't necessarily mean you have to do this, but it's highly recommended for me. And that is stop production a week before Christmas. Let me repeat that one more time. Stop production before Christmas. So that means probably a week before Christmas, just shut it down, all right? Shut it down because at that point, nothing's gonna get delivered on time. If you try to create something bef the week before Christmas and try to ship it out, it's not gonna happen. All it's gonna do is gonna stress you out. 
It's going to stress out your customer. Nobody has time for all that craziness. All right. So what I would suggest, take that week of Christmas and actually enjoy the holidays with your family, your friends. Work on all your personal projects. Us as embroiderers, as decorators, we have that one skill that not a lot of people can do. Okay, we can personalize gifts. So for our family, our friends, and people outside of our inner circle, this is a perfect time to do personal projects, personal gifts, because there is no point of stressing out trying to get orders done last second. It is not worth it. Okay, all it's gonna do is stress you out, get you sick, and then you're gonna end up hating the holiday season. And we definitely don't want to be at that level. Okay, we want to enjoy the whole season and finally celebrate at the final end. Okay, we want to make sure when it comes Christmas time and it's time for us to deliver our gifts. Okay, our gifts is easily a hundred times more valuable than us going to the mall and buying something. If you create something for somebody, it is a hundred times more valuable than buying something at the mall. All right, so take that week off and create your own personal projects for your family, friends, everybody else. Now, I would love to hear what all my fellow business owners out there that is watching this video, I would love to hear what tips you have for this upcoming holiday season. So if you can, go ahead, share with the community because the more information that we kind of provide in this community, all right, the more we all learn, all right? And trust me, I am learning every single day. I am preparing for this holiday season and I will definitely make more updates to this video while we're all in this together. So thank you for stopping by. Leave any questions, comments down below and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.